activities restarts. There's a little starling just made its nest just in the entry to the hut there. Every time someone comes in, it flies away to the little shed there. You see it just spreading its wings just in the middle. There it comes. We're about to start day 83, massive climbs today. Um, just gone 20 past 6. So an early start just leaves the options open and time to hit the road. Got a few tents here. Julianne and Melanie from France. And also around the other side. Oh, there's Julianne's brother Pierre. Time to go. So there's the hut. This is where the trail starts for the day. And this is where the water supply is and where, where I had my dip last night, which was pretty cool. In more ways than one. Here we go, day 83. <laughs> the trails had me crossing this stream. It wasn't easy either. And now I've got to cross back. Presumably, yeah, there's the triangle there. You can see the pathway up the other side. Uh, it's going to be wet feet time. Already got my right foot wet. Anyway, it's not the end of the world. Almost immediately, another crossing. And this is Stabby or Hut. Nice climb, that. It's taken three and a half hours, just a fraction over, 335. The estimate from um, Doc was four and a half. So I'm really pleased with that. I am 900 meter climb. Always pays to get up early and do it in the cool of the morning. Made really good ground. So it's just after 20 past 10, just had a bit of a snack. This is Starville Hut. Obviously, no one in here just yet. I'm ready to sign the intentions book. Nice little, um, little fire again. The colder nights. And there's a French and a Slovenian. You can just take a break. It's a great view. Come on, guys, let's have some comments on the walk this morning. Pete? It was um, steep as. Yep. Mm -hmm. Good. But beautiful. It was beautiful, wasn't it? Yep. Better? <laughs> Tomash. Oh, it's so nice to be out there again. So I love Great. it. And if we look over here, we can almost see Nelson now. See the surrounds of Nelson with a few houses just in the distance. Um, start walking again very soon and make it to Slady Hut. Now you can make a decision then whether we push on to Old Man's Hut for tonight or stay at Slady. But the day is young. So the climb was 900 metres there from just around the 200 metre mark to, sorry, around about the nearly 300 metre mark to nearly 1200 metres. Um, so that was a big, big push and a big effort from everyone. Anyone wrong over here is pointing out that there's a little kennel here. Or something that looks like a kennel. Very, very strange at 1200 metres elevation. Maybe for the hunters when they bring the dogs here. This is so cool. Just left Stabile Hut heading for Slady Hut. Sort of side me on a squeeze slope. It's quite a drop there. <laughs> and again, you just gotta turn around sometime and just remember the views are just amazing. Niels Astrid and Pete walking with me today. Stabile hut there. Let's climb from there now. Probably another 300 meters up. So, big days climbing. Probably 1200 meters climbing so far. Worth the view though. And at 1503 meters elevation, look at the view. 
What do you reckon, Pete? Brilliant day. What do you reckon's the view? I'll take it any day. God does good work, right? Bit of a climb coming up. I think I've got 200 meters to go to get to Slady Hut. I have 200 meter climb to go. But it's a beautiful track. You know, so at the start of the day, it said it was an unformed track, and it certainly hasn't been. It's just been a, a great day. So 200 meter climb there, especially on top of the 1,000 plus before. Um, yeah, it's been a tough day, but there's a clearing at the top here. The app tells me I'm only 300 meters away from Slady Hut, so it can't be much further. I think I'm already at the elevation I need to be. Corner. And here is Slady Hut. And the view's amazing. Finally arrived at Slady Hut. Nielsen and Astrid already beat me to it. There we go, altitude 1400 meters. Let's have a look inside. Hopefully no one here yet. I will push through anyway, go to Old Manhattan, but I was warned that there was a little package here for me. How cool is that? <laughs> That's from Andrea Khoury from, from Blenheim, who I met in Picton just a few days ago on the video a few days ago around about day 75-ish, 76. Let's have a look inside. Back on the track after lunch, a bit of a scree slope, walking across it. Don't want to go falling down there, that's for sure. Can we just pick out Slady Hut there on the edge of the tree. Yeah. We come. You can see Niels standing at the top there. Obviously admiring this view as much as I am. The big scree. That's um, Mount Rintoul straight ahead with the scree, and that's where we're heading tomorrow. It's quite daunting for me. <laughs> that's where it follows the ridge line down, the scree down here, and then looks like it's going up over the ridge, over the top, over there as well. Look at that for a picture. for Lake Chalice Hut. That's where my good friend Andrea headed for this morning. After she, she dropped off my box of goodies. Nice little water tank at the top here too. But of course there's also some great views. What about that for a climb guys? A bit of a grunt wasn't it? Warm place. <laughs> yeah, lovely. Yeah, we've done the bulk of the climbing now today. I think we've done 2,000 meters plus now have we? Yeah. The day. Wow. That's three times the Tongariro crossing if you go the usual way around. Come on, those trees. Hug each other. Scrambling just finished there and a little bit more to go, just right over the edge. Mmm, he wasn't ready for this. <laughs> just wanted to get to the hut, but anyway, we're not far away now. It's a really Come long on. day. Here's the hut. Thank heavens for that. Really difficult finish to the day. Probably one of the most difficult finishes today on Tierra Roa. Here we go. Let's see if there's any space. There's nobody here, guys. Yes. Yay. Got the hut to ourselves. That was day 83. And we, we had the hut to ourselves and still have. So Niels, Astrid and Pete, com comments about the day? Tiresome, but well worth it. Yeah. yeah. We all got very hungry and started <laughs> slipping down the mountain. Glad we made it. <laughs> we did, didn't we? That was a bit of a um, bit of a balls up at the end, wasn't it? How about you, um, Niels? Um, one of the nicest days so far, I guess. Good, it was yeah. a good day, wasn't it? But it was tough yeah. at the end, wasn't tough, it? Tough, really tough. Yeah. Good, well done, guys. And that was day 83.